So there's a list of key habits, things I do on a daily basis that have allowed me to go from zero to multi six figures with my business, quit college and pursue my passions full time. In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you three specific habits that have completely changed my life in the hope that you can also take these habits, implement them and change your life. Because I truly believe that we are just simply a byproduct of our daily habits and daily routines. And it's really the decisions that we make on a daily basis, both the very small ones as well as the big ones that dictate the outcomes and results that we get in life. And so I'm super excited for this video because uh, it's also going to get a bit nostalgic. I'm going to be going back to the very early days of my journey, uh, showing you guys what I was doing then um, and how that translated into the results that I got later in life. So uh, if you want to find out more, all you got to do is keep on watching. Now, the first thing that I want you to keep in mind before we get into the actual habits is the way I went about setting the actual habits, right? And so the first thing that I did is I got clear on the area that I had to master to become a much better entrepreneur, much better person in general, and really achieve the goals that I had set for myself. And once I identified that area that I had to master, that's what dictated the uh, routines and habits that I put in place in my life. And so very early on in my journey, just by listening to other successful people and seeing what they were doing, I realized that I had to have a lot more structure and boundaries in place for my life. If I were to achieve my goals, I couldn't just wake up and go about my day without a clear structure, uh, because without a clear direction, then there's no way you're going to get to your goal. And I also realized that very successful people would have a set of guiding principles that they would personally use to decide whether they want to say yes or no to something. So I had to set boundaries. Now, the routine that I put in place to achieve that, and one of the things that has had a tremendous impact in my life is really twofold, right? I put together a morning routine and I put together an evening routine, right? The morning routine was aimed to conquer the day. So start the day off with as many wins as possible to prime my brain, to prime my body, to have a very successful day ahead of me. Uh, and also to get a lot of things that I wanted to accomplish for that day in the very early hours of that day. And the goal of the evening routine was number one, to reflect back on the day and really see where I won, uh, some of the things that I could have done better uh, and really analyze that whole day so that I don't make the same mistakes that I was making that day uh, tomorrow, right? And the second and most important goal is making sure that I was preparing well for the next day. And what that meant is going to bed at the same time every single day. Obviously, there were a few exceptions here and there, but for the most part, it was at the exact same time, which ensured that I was getting enough sleep to wake up at the exact same time every single day as well, which is incredibly important. If you guys are not waking up at the same time every single day, you're really making your life so much harder. And it wasn't until I started waking up at the exact same time that really transformed my life, right? Not only were my hormones just in place, right? When you're waking up at different times every single day, your hormones are just completely out of balance. Uh, and not only that, but it adds a lot of complexity and unpredictability to your day. So uh, that's another thing that I would recommend. But yeah, it made sure that I was waking up at the exact same time. Uh, and the final thing as well that I didn't mention is that I was obviously planning tomorrow today, right? So I plan all the tasks and I made sure that those were slotted onto my calendar. So we'll actually work on accomplishing them the next day. As a little bonus, I just want to show you guys one of the very first journals that I ever had. And uh, you can just see here, I'm not sure if that will focus. You can just uh, see here, evening routine at 14th of November, 2017. So almost, uh, what, three years ago at this point. Um, and you can see that I was always scripting my evening routines. And not only that, but I would actually revise my evening routine every once in a while. So for example, we've got January 2018. So uh, two months later, I revised the whole thing, right? And I made sure that I was actually, um, you know, making changes to it uh, as I grew as a person and as, as my uh, priorities um, changed and, and uh, fluctuated. So that, that was my evening routine. And uh, here you can also see my morning uh, morning routine right and so january 2018 obviously that is a revised version as well um you know and, and you can see here wake up at 6 a.m have a shower finish it off with cold water get dressed drink what uh you know drink water take uh, omega-3 pills meditate uh journal gratitude list and uh incantations uh make my bed very important as well have breakfast and coffee i don't drink coffee nowadays i walk to gym while listening to podcasts Yes, that, that, that was correct. I, was, uh, I would walk to the gym and it, it was often like uh, minus five degrees uh, outside because uh, I was in, uh, in the UK. Uh, and yeah, that was not pretty. But I also hope that for those of you who watch my channel uh, and uh, enjoy my content and kind of, you know, are keeping uh, up with my journey, uh, you guys also see that it wasn't a uh, overnight thing, right? Uh, you know, for three years at this point, um, I was scripting my days. Uh, I was setting goals and, you know, this is just, uh, this is obviously just uh, early days, but uh, it's probably been like four years uh, since I, I got into personal development, you know, improving myself, uh, scripting my days, setting goals, et cetera, et cetera. So uh, it's definitely a journey, right? It can be much quicker. It can be much longer for, for some people as well. 
um, but hopefully that, that served for uh, as motivation for a lot of you who are watching this video. Um, and a final thing that I would say on this is, I truly believe that there is just something about writing things down. I mean, I've, I've got tons of journals here, for example, is uh, me scripting this video that you guys are watching. Uh, and, and so there's something about uh, really writing things. I really believe that it helps you process the information so much better, but it's also pretty interesting uh, going back to uh, your early journals, because in my head while I was writing this, I had absolutely no doubt that uh, three years from now I would be reading this and just kind of you know laughing at myself because uh, of you know all the stuff that I was doing that just really wasn't really moving the needle forward um, and also proud of, of, of uh, far uh, I've come. So uh, that is that for the first habit and now onto the second one. Now the second area that I knew I had to master if I were to make it as an entrepreneur uh, and really become the person that I wanted to be. Obviously, I don't want you guys to watch this video and think that I think I've made it. Personally, I know that there's so much more that I can do and there's such a long journey ahead of me, uh, but I have seen a very tangible result and change in my life, right? And so the next area that I, I knew I had to master was disconnected emotion and focus. Uh, and the reason why I say that is because number one, focus in a world of massive distractions. I truly believe that the people that can actually focus and get deep work done are the people that are really, really going to thrive, right? Especially because, you know, most people are really, really distracted, right? They're, they're spending, you know, five, six, seven hours on their phone every single day. Uh, and not only that, but they have so much stimuli uh, that they, you know, when they actually get into work, they can't actually focus, right? So that was the first area. And the second area was disconnected emotion. And what I mean by that is I really didn't want to attach an emotion to the outcome, especially when I was starting my agency and as an entrepreneur. And the reason why I say that is because when you start as an entrepreneur, the reason why most people give up um, is either because obviously they're not seeing results or they just get so many rejections, right? And when you start your agency, that is part of the process. I truly believe that failure is just part of the process to success, right? And as cheesy as it sounds, it's just part of, it's really just part of the process. And so when I was getting a lot of rejections with my agency, implementing the habit that I'm about to share with you guys uh, helped me tremendously, right? Because I didn't attach an emotion to the no. And so it really helped me keep going in the face of adversity towards my goals. And so that is the area that I, I wanted to master. And the habit that I put in place that completely changed my life was meditation. And I'm sure you've seen a lot of people online talk about meditation and its benefits. If you haven't, uh, definitely check out those videos. In fact, in my channel, I've got a video that I launched February of this year, uh, where basically I share with you the lessons that I learned from meditating 183 hours. And that was back in February. And so at this point, I've, I've definitely meditated more than 220 hours. Uh, obviously, right now, I've, I can't actually measure it because I'm not using Headspace. Um, but if, if you want to pick up the, the habit of meditation, I recommend you start with Headspace or, or any other app that makes it really, really easy. But essentially, meditating really helped me get into the flow a lot easier, right? So I would actually sit at my desk and I would be able to get two, three, four hours of done with minimal distraction, deep work. So it really helped me tremendously get into a flow state so much easier. And as I said, it also helped me disconnect my emotions, right? So disengage my thoughts as well and disconnect from uh, negative and positive emotions, which ensured that I kept chipping away at my goals. Now, in terms of practical tips to get started with meditation, if you guys haven't started, I actually recommend you get your start with apps like Headspace or Calm and then make sure to actually make it a habit. And by that, I mean, make sure that you actually slot it into your calendar. So every single day at the same time, you go ahead and you meditate you know, for five, 10, 15 minutes, which actually brings me to my second point, go ahead and start out slow, right? So start with five minutes, then gradually build up to 10 minutes, then gradually go to 15 and then gradually get to 20 minutes, which was the max that I was doing um, when I was meditating. Now, as a little side note, I actually started doing yoga. Uh, I do it on Mondays and Wednesdays. And I've come to realize that for me, it's easier to get present to the moment with yoga than meditation, even though I've been doing yoga for the past, I think three to four months. And I've been doing meditation for the past two plus years at this point. I find yoga easier because for me, it's easier to get present to the moment with my body than with my breathing, which is the case with uh, meditation. But that's a little side note for those of you who wanna try out yoga to uh, not only focus, but also disconnect emotion. So that is that for my second habit and now to the third and final habit that completely changed my life. The third habit that changed my life was training myself to do hard shit every single day. And so at this point, there's been a ton of studies that correlate the people that actually can delay gratification uh, go on to achieve greater goals in life. And I truly believe that the more pain, the more sacrifice you can endure in the short term, the greater the reward will be in the long term. And so some of the things that I did on a daily basis to not only push myself physically, but also mentally, as well as place positive stressors on myself were the following. Number one, I would wake up before 6 a.m. every single day. Even when it felt really good to just stay in bed, I would wake up, I would start my morning routine and get on with my day. 
Number two is say no to instant gratification activities. Like for example, going out with friends to a bar or a club. Now I'm not saying you shouldn't do that every once in a while, but if you're looking to grow a business and you're in those initial phases, right? And you've scheduled yourself to do X, Y, and Z this afternoon, then probably not a good idea to go out that afternoon as well, right? Especially if it's during the week. Um, and so I would say no to those things. I would also say no to uh, a few drinks with my friends, uh, drinks that seem very, very appealing, uh, simply because I was focused on building my business and uh, really building a, a lot of positive momentum for myself. Another thing that I did is come hell or high water, I would get my meditation done right every single day. Another habit is cold exposure. So every day after I wake up, I take a cold freezing shower. Not only that, but nowadays my gym has a cold plunge and it's just completely freezing, it's uh, five degrees. Uh, and for those of you who think five degrees is not that cold, uh, then you probably haven't been in a, uh, a cold plunge that is five degrees. So after my workout, I jump into that cold plunge and I'm in there for five minutes. Another positive habit that trained me to do hard shit was reading 30 to 50 pages every single day of the book that I was reading that week, right? Even when I thought I didn't have time, right? Or even when I didn't feel like it, right? I wanted to just watch YouTube, which would have been a, a much better, you know, a much better alternative or a much easier alternative. I read my pages, right? Another, another great habit was fasting, right? So I would wake up, I would not eat until 12 to 12.30 p.m. That's when I would break my fast and I would have just a massive meal, right? And the final positive stressor is that in 2019, before I started my personal brand, I completely got rid of social media, right? So I cut out Instagram, I cut out YouTube, I cut out Facebook. Obviously, I didn't even have TikTok at that point. And it really re-leveled my dopamine levels to the point where I could just work on my business and feel a lot of happiness and joy from it. And not only that, but I could just focus on purely my business, right? Uh, and I wasn't distracted by what other people were doing on social media, which also reduced uh, FOMO, um, which is something that if you guys are going through uh, your personal development journey and you're sacrificing, it's, it's one of those things that you really do not wanna have in your life. You don't wanna see people partying and this and that, right? Because uh, that's gonna increase FOMO um, and uh, that's not really gonna serve you well. So all these things really train my mind to do hard shit, to love that you know process of being in the dirt, right, almost. And in turn, allowed me to enjoy much greater rewards at my age. So that is that for this video. Those are the three habits that completely transformed my life. Hopefully you can take some of the, the strategies and habits and routines that I covered in this video and implement them for your own life. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and drop a massive thumbs up. It really helps out a ton with the algorithm, with the channel, and I'd really appreciate it. So go ahead and tap the like button. Also leave down below any comments, any questions you may have on this video and I'll be sure to check those out. If you haven't subbed to my channel, there's so much content coming out on entrepreneurship, social media marketing agency, personal development, and a ton of other topics. And so if you don't wanna miss any of that, go ahead and sub to my channel and hit the little bell icon so you never miss an update. And if you guys haven't joined my free Facebook mastermind, it's full of people looking to implement positive habits to make positive change into their life, grow their business, and make an impact. And so if you wanna join that tight-knit community, of like-minded people, go ahead and check out the link in the description. Uh, go ahead and apply, and if you're a good fit, we will let you in. And as always, guys, hope everything's going well in your journey, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.